space it out so there's bedrooms and there's bathrooms and the distillery. If everyone's gone. We need glass panels apparently. Not too sure where to get those. Is there anyone staying here? There isn't. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to delete all the rooms. I'm going to try to make the best looking area we can. Make, probably make bigger rooms like we have been. Oh, wait. I should also go over here to Anton and recycle all this furniture that we're not going to be using anymore. Wait, where is he? He's up more, isn't he? Because it's poopy. Like, um, this, or these, or this. We'll keep these two. Yeah, we'll get rid of these because we'll never use these again. Their comfort is too low for my taste. Oh, it's gonna take a while? Take all that. Nice. Where is glass? Do we get glass from these areas? Or is it glass exclusively up uphill and high, whatever? I don't even know what this looks like, to be completely honest. Items I might have lost? Where did those come from? Wait a second. What? When? Why did Why did I lose items? And why did it give it back to me? I had no idea I lost items. Well, I might go back up to the um, the other place and put more decorations then. Okay, we got glass panels down here. Cool. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna go back up top and put glass, uh, not glass, but decorations out. I don't know why that happened. At least they gave it back to me. Okay, I placed more items. It didn't upgrade it, I don't think, so. We're still at level two only on our two bedrooms, or three bedrooms. Did we get a bad review? Why? Why a 4.5, Jillian Duncan? What the heck? Alright, now back to A24. We got some other stuff to make. my distillery <laughs> furniture, but it's not telling me that I lost it. Oops. I'm gonna go recycle some more. Like, we have so... Huh. I need space. Oh, that wouldn't? Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine. <laughs> I 
like how you could just turn people's lights off. All right, we need to get this all set up so I'm gonna have some people come in tomorrow. I'm gonna try to finish this up. Bad news, I had to go get some plywood planks. Or something planks. So I couldn't finish decorating last night at the A24. But we're gonna collect some things and then we're gonna go back and set them up. Okay, here they want me to build five level two bedrooms. I think we can do it. Like what makes a level two bedroom? Exactly. We have the beds, we have the vanities, we have the cushions, and we need more wardrobes. And that's all we really need to make them level um, level two, I think. So let's make a few more. We have two already. We just need three more, so we'll make two more wardrobes. I don't want to make more than I have to. I have an over excessive amount of items to use. Like these lamps I need to use. Maybe I'll take those back. Take this lamp bag. Put that there. Alright, let's make uh, two more bedrooms. I think that also means we need to make one more um, bathroom as well. That's all we technically need are those. I guess that technically hits that bath or bedroom, but we're gonna put another one. I'm actually gonna rotate this as well. Why can't that go there? Is it the window? I didn't make the furniture first, hang on. So if I make this here, and I make a bedroom over here,
it technically reaches the room? Does that count? Alright, I think we did it. I think <laughs> this will be our little motel over here. I can add more items later. But yeah. Now we can add people here. They have low standards, even though we made the best rooms. So we'll just bring in whoever. All right. We did it. Congratulations, you've once again proving yourself barely above minimum expectation. Guests will now have higher expectations. Yes, I get a watch. What else do we have to do here? Stay for 10 plus guests. Yeah, we can do that easy. So we have a... What? Is my... Or does it show it here? Oh no, it shows it here, okay. Showed me the exact time. Oh, nice! Increase speed- oh shit, wait, these actually have- You can turn that on and off? I didn't know that. Alright, we're gonna be more careful with what we, uh, buy from Tok, so we don't have excess amount. Alright, now we can per- um, oh, we have enough for this now. We have to wait on the level 3 bedroom in Timber, because we don't have the furniture for it yet. But when we do, we're gonna go back and replace everything, I think. But for now, we're gonna go to High Lake and- turn in this quest that we have. Right, right, right. We gotta refix it up. Yes. Ooh, it's so pretty. Well, we gotta do, buddy. Why watch the world through screen when you can trade it for the real thing? Now, accepting trade-ins for high-definition electronics at any pawn location. Ooh. So what's next? Humankind has fought many uh, arduous battles. None more impressive than the one against nature itself. A solid roof over our heads and a dry floor to sleep on have become the preferred way of life for many. And the reward for that victory? The opportunity to profit from taking all of it away. That's horrible. I'm learning so much. There, this area supports the development of outdoor facilities, an open air, untamed, raw experience. At the mercy of dangerous creatures and savage beasts. I do get pretty grumpy in the morning. Closed off in a small area of the fence and a gate, of course. Of course. As you know, patron health and safety are our main concern. So any outdoor ex expansions need to be certified by a forestry specialist. Failing to do so will deprive your more adventurous guests from the true experience. A paint extra to sit outside. Hey, I think I know someone like that. Yeah, Beanie. Wait, do they have more items here? They lied to me. Okay, we can go talk to Julia, though. Oh, what is this? Crafting table? Yes, c fucking fix that. <gasps> we can make a campfire? Outdoors? Wait, where did we build that in? Oh, we can make so much now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to Julia. Julia, Julia. Where is Julia? Up in the tippy top right. Hello. 
Wow, that house never looks so clean. Is that the fresh coat of paint? Yes, it is. That's amazing. I've never seen a sparkle like that. What is this place anyway? I'm still not sure you're not here for my potatoes. But if you really mean it, this is the captain's estate and that old pile of rust and mold is the farmhouse. Well, significantly less rusty and moldy now. It used to be the biggest private property in the valley. The lady captain and little captain kids would spend every summer here, although he was never with them. He spent most of his time up the hill in the big radio dish building. And what made you come up such a long way from home? I met a shark that asked me for help to get humans to come back. If you're here to rob me, you don't have to put on a show. No, I mean it. There's people all over the place now. In fact, I think I could help rebuild the farmhouse and get people to stay there again. Listen, Hank. I've got a rug in my house that lies less than you. Wait, I mean it. I'm sure your dolphin friend is waiting. He's a shark. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, you've convinced me. Really? No. Okay, I can prove that I'm not here to steal. Isn't there anything you need? I could go get it for you. I'm pretty great at that. Hmm. If it means you'll leave, I won't come back without it. Alright, there's a kind of a plant that doesn't grow in High Lake. It's called sage. I use it in my teas and peach juice. It doesn't grow in the light, so you won't find it outside the thicket wood, the thicker woods. I, su I suggest you look west of Stardust. S Stardust? Sawdust, but you shouldn't step foot beyond that barrier. If you had any sense. We certainly don't have to worry about that. Okay, so she wants me to go collect something. What else is on this map? Maybe we should explore. Oh, she has a shop. Oh, there's another place up here. Wow. There's a whole other area. Monument. Beanie's over there. And Barbara's there, okay. Go to Dark Grove and find Sage for Julia. That shouldn't be too hard. Where is that? Maybe we should go to Beanie first. try not to collect the like food items because it takes a lot of inventory. What is this though? Mint. Oh, those are stairs. I was like, what? That's a lot of water. There's a lot of trash up here as well. Barbara. Left foot, right foot, just keep going. Hey, Beanie. Hey, big guy, what you up to? Oh, you know, looking for berries, refurbishing old houses, just bare things. Well, I ain't got much to you could work on here, except maybe the old broadcast station up north. But no one's got any use for that anymore. Actually, I had a thing I needed your help with. Oh shoot, I ain't good at skimming plaster, but I can tell you which mushrooms will make your you feel funny. Well, we're trying to give folks a more uh, outdoorsy experience, and apparently rolling in grass until the ground smells like you isn't part of it. So I'm a little lost. Well, most people don't mind a little dirt on their butt or smoke in their face, but in limited controlled quantities. Tell you what, if you clear out a bit of space for a camping spot, I can get you some basic things to get started. How about it? Hell yeah, we'll do that. Lodger's tool. Only who- wait. Only who can prevent forest fires. Smokey the bear. Only you. Alright, we need to... Go to Dark Grove somehow. Pineful. But I really don't know where Dark Grove is. D 
Did I ever repair the um, bus stop here? Have 23 comfort? We don't. Oh wait, did they all leave? No, she's in bedroom one. Oh, she leaves tomorrow. Shit. 38! Oh my gosh. Three. That's crazy. shows me a place on the map. Can we look at the world map? Like, if I go down here, can I go on the highway? Or will it be like, nah? Oh my god, it like, cuts off. Like, is this too dark, bro? Oh. I guess it is. Shit's windy, bro. That looks expensive. Um... 
oh, it's him. I was like, hello? You again. I think we got off on the wrong foot. And now I used up uh, both. I never meant to um, say nice things about you. Yeah, well, you can't just do that to people. You could ruin someone's day. But you said pleasant things about me, too. I think. That's different. It wasn't about me. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you following me around? No one comes to Dark Grove. I thought I'd start my day off right with a little self-terror. <laughs> Beats washing your face in the, with water. Finally, it makes some sense. What are you up to? In case I've accidentally given you the impression that I'm a space scientist or something, I like to scavenge. Just what I do. I get into every nook and cranny and fish out the little artifacts the universe forgot about. Now, no one stepped foot in Dark Grove in years. And this tower here is old. Re really old. You can't tell by the fact that... Wait, you can tell by the fact that there isn't a tower anymore. <laughs> but that didn't stop hu humans from using it anyway. At least until they up and left tearing everything down behind them. So like a nerd in a board game shop, I dive right in getting my little trinket fix. No one can tell me not to. I wouldn't dream of it. Is that how you got your jacket? Oh yes, my green, little green jacket. I found it while... Uh, while blah, 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 blah. If I could learn to speak. I found it in the White House up the mountain. I roll around in the garbage dump once a week to keep it fresh. Ugh. Well, I really like it. It's a nice jacket. Uh-oh. Yeah, this whole thing's actually gotten pretty musty. I can't get the mud smell out of it. I should probably change it soon. You don't say. Hey, Pickens has been slim in the old grub department. You wouldn't happen to have anything to gnaw on, would ya? I could go make you something. Boy, I kill for an egg dippy. What the fuck is an egg dippy? I, in fact, I'm pretty sure I have. What? What a strange wooden leg. Okay. Feels like a skeleton could jump out at any time. Well, I came up here for some sage, so... back to Julia for now and then we'll deal with whatever this place is about later wait a little bready stick dipped inside a creamy egg would really hit the spot right now okay I don't know how to cook yet so wait how do I get out of here Already? I wonder if there was a bus stop up there. Maybe not. Alright, Julia, we got your sage. I like her little house, it's so cute. Oh, uh, hello again. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you back. Did you find any sage? Yes, got it right here. What? You really got some? Oh my, it really is. So musty and crisp. Did you really go all the way there to, to Gart Grove? Piece of cake, see? Bears don't have to worry about underwear. What? Oh, cuz... <laughs> this is pants. Listen, if you're serious about getting this place back on its feet, I think I can help. The captain's family ate all sorts of food. They grow it in the garden and cook it down into the flavors you never even dreamt of. Sweet, sour, buttery, earthy, smoky, tangy. I didn't know I could taste words before. Well, and well, I know for a fact your humans are going to want some, so I can teach you how to do that. If you like to stick around. I would love to! Great, I mean, I'm happy to hear that. You can help yourself from the garden. Things grow pretty fast in there, so help yourself. Ah, Julia. She 
she opened it. Yay! Now the captain had a big table the whole family would sit around. Nice, thank you. You should probably give folks some room to eat. Okay, dining rooms are rooms where your guests can consume meals. Craft and place a serving table, a table, and a chair to make it functional and give food score. Meals added in the serving table will give out their food scores to guests. Guests will consume these meals usually three times a day. Each dining room will affect an entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple dining rooms. Raw ingredients will not award food score, only cooked meals will. Lower level serving tables have fewer slots available to fit meals. While higher level serving tables will have more meal slots. Okay. I guess I'm gonna collect some food. If I have the space for it. I'm gonna go in her garden and collect everything. So, all right, I guess we should figure out the layout of this place. Like the bottom floor probably can just be maybe kitchen and stuff and the top floor can be the rooms. Oops, I didn't mean to, maybe, I don't know. Okay, food room kitchen is what we should focus on first. I don't know, how big does it be? Three by three? Really? Wait, hang on. We haven't even made the stuff that we need for it. Kitchen furniture. We don't have any kitchen furniture, hello? kitchen furniture. We have dining furniture. Okay, I guess we'll make this at least. Make two? And how many? I'll make two chairs, but it might take up more. kitchen's pretty tiny, honestly, and I don't know how I feel about that. We don't have any kitchen furniture. I don't know why I'm like... Wait, let's not make that one. Sorry. Dining room. It's also a 3 by 3 What? Why can't it be there? Oh, because I'm trying to- I'm dumb. We're fine. We know how to do this. Okay, dining furniture. Okay, so it takes four st okay. Well, this is gonna make me reevaluate everything. so finicky, hello? Can we add, uh, no, 
oh shit, windows and stuff, just, we can, I need to start doing that more often, add some cool stuff going on, get a little creative, and we'll put like the kitchen on this side when we get the stuff for it, um, yeah, we built a functional kitchen. Put a light in there. Why not? Oh, I took that window away. Oops. Okay. Well, we got the kitchen, but we don't... Can I go upstairs? I can. Floor up. So, for comfort... We have two beds and two cushion foot rests we need to make wardrobes and vanity. Do we also need to make a bathroom here? Probably if it shows up. build a room around the stairs. Okay. the bare necessities. And a little lamp. We need to buy some furniture from Tooks, but we got one room. I'm gonna make another room too. door down. <laughs> Fuck, I deleted the window. Well, this one will just be slightly bigger. Oh, twelve. So we'll need to get like some furniture to furnish these places, but at least we'll have two rooms. Hmm. Three by three. Wait, I don't have any. <laughs> we can make it without it. Uh, one toilet, one tub, one mat. That 
that's all they need in there, right? And a light. Special. Right, we gotta make the campfire. We haven't even made the front desk yet. <laughs> we don't have any campfire stuff. How do they expect me to do this stuff when I don't have any... <laughs> Wait, no, fuck. I need to put the thing... Totally forgot that I need a front desk. <laughs> oh my god. And a tiny light. That lights up the whole room because that makes sense. Alright, we got the dining. And then we got the two bedrooms and a bathroom for now. Let's go back to Julia and be like, yo, we did it. Okay, move, jeez. Julia, we did it. Teach us how to cook now. I'm stuck. I'm just, I'm trying to talk to Julia. There we go. So how about that dining room? It's ready. It's ready. I can't believe you're going through all this trouble. I'm... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've been by myself for a long time. There's barely a soul that passes through here these days. Except the ones who make a fuss at night, I guess. But I don't have the guts to confront them. That sounds terrifying. Anyway, have you got everything you need to start making some delicious food? Oh, except, like, the one important bit, somewhere to cook it all. Now, I did my best with what I had in the guest house, but I'm pretty proud of my little kitchen. Whoa! Ipswich Hotel. Ooh. Pawn Voyage? And I expect you to make your own. Alright, got it. Gotta make our own kitchen now. Uh, kitchens are rooms where you can cook meals. Did these already grow back? Holy shit. Um, they require either a cutting board, cooker, griddle, or microwave. Not all objects are required. Kitchen objects are noisy and smell funny, which means they carry a negative decoration score. Guests will not interact with kitchens. However, kitchens will apply the negative decoration score in an area of effect around them. <gasps> this debuff will affect any bedrooms built next to kitchens, as well as the overall prestige score in the result. The resort. P place plenty of decoration, decoration items to... Uh, offset the negative effects of the kitchen objects. You can see the debuff area by clicking on the room wall in build mode. I don't know where Took's shop is. Oh, it's literally right there. Hang on, let's get some stuff. Let's get some stuff. Like some nice raw. Oh, we don't have a lot of trash. Okay, well. I know I need some... Uh, let's see. Okay. First of all, how do we just, just 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 let me go up. Thank you. That's too big. There. Should have got one for there, but oh well. Go back down. Alright, we got kitchen stuff now.
How do I... Wait, how do we get back to... Okay, there we go. I just didn't click frickin' the back button enough. Alright, we need to make a cutting board, and then this. For sure. Okay. needed in the kitchen? What? Wait, where's my... Oh, fuck. I got rid of it. Um, I guess we don't need to build it that big, then. It says 3x3, three three, so... Put like a bathroom here, maybe. I don't know. I thought we could do like do it bigger, but I guess not. I thought I had another extra rug. Did I put that in the bath? I did. Here, the kitchen deserves a rug. So it's probably gonna be like, you should cook your first recipe now. Walk our little ass back up to Julia. Julia. 